Hey everybody, Steve here with Printavo, and in this video, I want to show you how you can use statuses in Printavo to track your workflow. So we'll talk about uh, you know what statuses are, uh, how you can use statuses to track your jobs, and where you can go uh, to edit and configure your statuses. So uh, first and foremost, we're just on our calendar here because uh, this is one of the primary places you're going to see statuses in action. And every one of these boxes on my calendar is going to be one of my jobs. And then every job is color coded based on where that job is in my workflow. Now we define the steps of our workflow using what we call statuses. Now in my account here, I have a, a whole bunch of statuses. Uh, this might look different than yours and, and, and that's okay. Some shops have hundred statuses, some shops have 10 statuses. It's really dependent on uh, your workflow and what you're trying to accomplish. But the point is statuses become that powerful tool that can ultimately you know, trigger automations, but also keep you and your staff and uh, even sometimes your customer all on the same page uh, without having to you know, bounce unnecessary emails and phone calls uh, back and forth, back and forth. So to use statuses to, uh, to filter jobs on your calendar, right, all you have to do is go to this box in the top right here that says filter. And when I click that box, you'll see all of my statuses show up. Now, some of our statuses have checkboxes next to them, and some of them do not. And that's because we're choosing which statuses we're filtering on our calendar with these checkboxes. So if I actually, let me go back to the very bottom here. I'm going to click where it says select all, because I'm going to select all of my statuses. Now, sometimes this is what you want to see. Uh, sometimes this is what you need to see. Uh, but sometimes this, is, this can be way too much information. It's a great way to uh, get a high level view of what's going on um, in your month, or I can look at my week, right? Uh, by clicking on the week, or I could push the letter W. Uh, I could look at you know individual days, or push the letter D. But I can uh, using um, you know my calendar, I can get this high level overview of where all of my jobs are at any given point. But then using the filter option, right, if I just want to see jobs that are perhaps in a quote status. I can select none here to deselect all of my statuses. Now I have a lot, so it's just it's just taking a second to think. But if I just want to see my quote statuses, I'll select the jobs in the quote, and then only jobs in the quote status will show up. Now, if I, for example, change this job status to uh, let's just say archived quote, right? And this is job. We'll just try to remember this number four seven two eight. If I change this job status to archived quote you're going to see that disappear from my calendar. Now, it didn't really disappear from my calendar. It only disappeared because we are not currently viewing the archived quote status. Now, if I turn the archived quote filter on, we can see our job here, right? So again, just by changing your status and using the filters, you're able to see where your jobs are at any given point. And there are a few pages on uh, Printavo that have this filter button. So anytime you see this filter button, you're able to filter your jobs by status. So where do you create these statuses? Uh, how do you edit them? Uh, how do you pick your colors? Right? Super easy. Uh, the answer, of course, is under my account, where all of our uh, preferences are and, and settings live. So if I just go to my account, I have that open in a new tab here. I just go right here to where it says customize invoice statuses. And when I click on this, you're going to see my full list of statuses. Now, if I want to add a new status, all I have to do is scroll to the bottom of my list. I can say add a status. Let's say um, here's oops, here's our new status. Right. I can add uh, you know a hex code that I have in mind, or I can you know just use the color picker. It it, it doesn't really matter. And then I just click and drag this to where I want this to live. So let me put this, I'm going to put this one toward the top. So I'm just going to drag this all the way up. And I'll put this uh, right under final outreach. Right. Now, what's probably immediately standing out to you is these checkboxes, right? Especially because I have this one particular box that's not checked. And actually, let me go ahead and save this real quick. I want to save that status and make sure it now exists 
on my um, on my list of statuses. So if I look at my filter now, we're not going to see that status. But if I refresh my page, then we'll see our new status, right? bright green standing out in those blues and blacks. So now, as I mentioned, you know we had we had these check boxes here that uh, are, are are noticeable. But what are they? Right? So what these check boxes do is they help you set which statuses will display as a quote and fall under your quotes list, or uh, and which statuses will display as an invoice and display under your invoices list. Uh, the reason we do this is, you know, we used to get a question all the time of what in Printavo distinguishes, uh, you know, a quote versus an invoice. So we decided to put that power in your hands. So as you, you know, customize your statuses, you get to pick if that's a quote or an invoice. And we'll discuss the further power of the quote and invoice lists um, in our video about managing your sales pipeline that, that's coming up. But just to show you this in action, I'm going to open up a job. Let's grab this one here, 4681. And you can see that this is in a status called quote. Now, you'll see on my status list, quote, by default is checked. You can't uncheck that. But uh, you know, for our example here, let me put it in this email. Um, or here, I'll put it, yeah, I'll put it in this email status here. Right? And to change the status, you saw me changing from the calendar earlier. I can also change the status right from the job. So you'll see now this job is listed is quote number 4681. So the, the important part is the quote. It's quote number 4681. The reason it's listing is quote 4681 is because this status box uh, is checked, right? Now, if I put this job in our, here's our new status status, because this is unchecked, watch the quote, um, uh, the quote number right here. I'm gonna put this in our new status and you're gonna see once this refreshes, this is now listing as invoice 4681. So that's what these checkboxes do. They help you filter out which statuses you'd like to list as a quote and which you'd like to list as an invoice, which again is going to help you quite a bit when you're trying to manage uh, you know, your quotes or your, uh, you know, your, your potential money, your sales opportunities out there, and your invoices, which are your money owed, which again, we'll, we'll get to in an upcoming video. So if you have any questions about uh, adding uh, statuses or status best practices, uh, please, again, don't, don't ever hesitate to reach out to your dedicated success manager. Or uh, you can always reach out to our success team at success, S-U-C-C-E-S-S, -S -S, at printabo.com, and we'd be happy to help you. All right, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.